Hey guys, welcome to Make Mishra channel. Today we are here to learn about the creep, which is a very important TMS mechanism. So without delaying, let's start. First of all, basic definition of the creep. So creep is the progressive time time dependent in elastic deformation under constant load and constant temperature so it's a time dependent phenomena which a material can experience under constant load and high temperature so at high temperature typically greater than half the absolute melting temperature so when material uh, is getting operated at temperature which is greater than half the melting point the, of that metal component can continuously deform under the load even below their elastic yield stress this time dependent deformation of stressed component is known as creep so main example is the tubes in the furnace or heaters we can see the cracks see here the branching cracks in the heater tube so this see the crack initiation this is a heater tube which having constant temperature and exposure of constant temperature over a long period of time and having constant load okay so if we see the metallographic images you can see these cracks like this this is an initiation of cracks here see the crack initiation okay and now this is manifestation of that microfissures in the, the crack so exposure to stress at high temperature initially promotes the white formation at the grain boundaries triple point which with time grows from uh, to form fissures and later into cracks okay so the rate of creep deformation is function of the material which metallurgy we are using the which is the applied stress there and what is the operating temperature so these are the three critical phenomena way which where the creep can be dependent okay so summing up this is the deformation of material under constant load and at higher temperatures now we will understand the mechanism of the creep so let's say this is uh, my material which is exposed to the temperature having continuous exposure to a higher temperature and this is having also permanent load that is strain from strain it will get constant strain is there constant load applied load is there okay so and this is a curve of strain versus time so the creep happens in three stages there are three stages of the creep that is first is first stage which we are calling primary creep second stage we are calling secondary creep and third stage we are calling a tertiary creep so in primary creep the deformation start at microstructural level the hardening process obstruction of the dislocation movement relaxation process example rich distribution of the lattice defects so this happens in the lattice and uh, um, crystal level where hardening process happens up to here now this stage is constant here instantaneous elastic strain so here secondary creep hardening and softening both process happens and are in equilibrium and steady state minimum creep strain so here strain will not increase strain is almost constant now see here the strain is increase so this is a 
when time more passes this first stage when the time exceeds the tertiary creep the damage process example formation and growth uh, and collations of whites at grain boundaries and aging of the microstructure so we'll understand little in deep so in first primary first stage there will be no more major deformation there will be formation of wide formation will start at the uh, microstructure level so in secondary uh, stage see here we can see the isolated cavities so isolated cavity uh, cavities will get formed now after isolation cavities these cavities get oriented means they get aligned or get connected okay so these are how this they get connected after the connection now in the third stage they will be appear in the form of micro cracks and later this micro cracks get enlarged and become the micro cracks in the third stage and this is here the fracture will occur so these are the three stages of the creep damage so let's understand a little a different way so here we seen in primary creep the white formation will initiate then in secondary creep here to here this is a secondary creep region here the whites get formed at the grain boundary see this is a white formation here the white get formed after certain more time time of operation uh, this is time of operation when time exceeds these whites there will be a linkage means they will get linked to each other so this is a linkage of whites which get formed in the material now these whites when get linkage over a period they convert into the micro cracks and further these uh, become macro cracks over some more time of operation so this is a cracking region where major cracks get occur and this is a end of life means here the material properties get in and we have to replace the material so this is a enlarged view of linkage of microstructure so see these are the whites small small whites and they are getting connected to each other and forming the crack like this and these are also the black one is the whites and when they get connected they are forming the crack like this see see at the microstructure level okay so this is the basic understanding of the creep now uh, the question comes in mind is what are the affected materials so all materials are affected by this but their temperature resistance depend on the different materials but every material are susceptible see this this elbow has failed due to the creep this is a initiate uh, this is a minor opening this is a major opening this mouth opening now how we will detect how we will detect this creep with prior to failure so the a uh, combination of proper nde technique surface technique and volumetric technique because at microstructure level we cannot see by visual inspection so at the surface and volumetric level we have to do nde tests to find out the initiation of the creep and dimensional measurement and field metallographic replica this is very important because at the microstructure level you have to carry out the metallography replica to check whether the micro crack initiation has been reported also the destructive sampling and metallography examination are generally used to confirm the damage so if we want to confirm the damage then we have to cut a sample and perform the strength test 
destructive test and the metallography now what are the locations in the plant where, where this creep can be seen or suspected so first is creep damage is found in higher temperature equipment operating in creep temperature range so the equipment which are operating in creep temperature range we will see the material wise temperature later like heater tubes in the fired heater as well as tube support hangers and other furnace internals as well as high temperature steam tubes in boiler can be susceptible to creep second is hot well catalytic reformer reactor reactor piping furnace tubes hydrogen reforming furnace tube hot well fcc reactor and FCC main fractionator regenerator internal all operated in near creep temperature range so they are the susceptible okay so now the uh, the threshold temperature for the creep so for carbon steel where ultimate tensile strength is greater than 4 over uh, 60 ksi then the temperature limit for carbon steel is 345 if we will operate above this the chances of creep will be high so we have to limit the temperature for 60 ksi carbon steel to 345 and the carbon steel where uts is greater than for mpa then we can use up to 370 degree centigrade then the carbon steel which is already graphitized 370 cr half mo 400 these are the alloy steels so for alloy steels we are little more uh, earlier steels are little more resistant so it can be used up to 425 40 425 450 now here stainless steel starts so for the authentic uh, stainless steel 12 chromium it can be used up to 480 then 304 ss 304 510 316 540 321 321h 347 341h are up to 540 temperature range then alloy 800 and 800h this can be used up to 565 so we have to uh, operate below this threshold temperature to avoid the creep in our components so first uh, stage we have to operate below the if we are using the metallurgy we have to uh, operate below these critical temperatures then we have to uh, avoid stress concentration during design and fabrication because this will aggravate this uh, creep formation then low creep ductility can be minimized by careful selection of specific uh, and careful selection and specification of material so we seen the different metallurgy has different temperature uh, where creep can occur so we have to be careful in selection of material third is a retirement criteria based on the diametry growth and loss of wall thickness are highly depend on the tube material and specific operating temperature so the life of uh, these components depends on how which temperature we are operating and what metallurgy we are selecting see this these are the cracks which got enlarged in the, the creep so see okay so hope uh, you are now well conversant and understood the creep mechanism uh, what are its basic how to how we can uh, how to inspect the creep and how we can avoid the creep in our units so hope you finding this video useful so if you have uh, benefit from it please share with your friends so thank you thank you very much